Hey guys, this is Helldozer from Zombieland Gaming, and I am going to be doing, just like my Warlock video earlier today, I'm going to be doing my Hunter one. Now, I went and I educated myself, looked at stuff, so I'm just going to be in the same format as the Warlock one. I'm going to show you my talents, what I'm actually going to be going with, what you should be rating with, what they're recommending for Mythic, and, and all that business. Um, <clears throat> one of the things I did want to show, though, was... As you can see, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? I know I saw this. Lone Wolf is no longer here. There it is. It's passive. So you don't have to pick that anymore. So for Marksman Hunters, there's that business. Now what I've got in here like so is what Icy Veins... Uh, with a, maybe a little bit of my own opinion, uh, you should be running um, for uh, going out by yourself to AoE and stuff like this. Now, some of the, a couple of these might be my opinion, um, so it's really up to you to decide what you want to do, how you want to use it, whatever. So to get started, uh, for single target, they are recommending this guy here, um, Murderer Crows. Now, for AoE, they're going there. Um, I guess. Um, I don't know. I always kind of like murder because hunters have always been good at one thing, killing stuff fast. So... When you're out leveling and you, like, when I go out, I mean, you guys, anybody that's watched any of my Warlock videos know that I don't just tag one thing and sit there and baby it and kill it and buy a dinner, take it out to a movie, make sweet love to it, and then kill it. I'll pull five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten things. I don't care. I got business to take care of. I got money to make and XP. You're in my way, so you got to die. So I'll pull a pile of stuff. Murder of Crows, uh, personally, I like... The one minute cooldown, and if the target dies while under attack, it's automatically reset. That's just my choice. What you choose to do is up to you, but I don't know. Uh, definitely Murderer Crows has my vote all the way across the line. Um, careful Aim um, is definitely going to be for raiding, whereas Explosive Shot is obviously going to be for AoE. Now... Uh, maybe percent health. That's obviously pretty good for rating. I had originally thought maybe Volley, but apparently it's not keeping up. The damage isn't there, and it's not as good as it should be. So, for AoE, that's what you want. A little drop down out of my bar there. Now, this is again another choice. They're recommending across the boards natural mending. It's not bad. It's definitely something that is good. But I've always wondered what camouflage would be like. Now, they, they've given it back. It's, I believe it was a PvP before 8.0. I don't know. Um, fading off and healing versus just doing this. The reason that I like this is if you, fa if you fade off... Um, you know, you, you can kind of, you can play little games, you can lay down Binding Shot, which I'll get to in a minute. You can get away. It's heal over time, it's a hot versus just taking straight up heal. I understand the reasoning behind it, and that's why I'm going to go with Natural uh, Mending. But again, it's a choice, it's something you could try. They've also, they did, they recommended Trailblazer. I wouldn't use it, I don't want to use it. Uh, it's always going to be between these two for me. That, especially in, for, in PvP. Um, so maybe that's better for PvP. Um, but for everything else, Natural Mending. Now, this is, um, I originally thought the Steady Focus might be decent, and there's what, it, what it's uh, doing. Using Steady Shot reduces the cast time of Steady Shot by 20%, stacking up to two times. Now, when you stop using Steady Shot, it falls off and off you go. I thought it was like a nice little mix while you were using it, you know, getting uh, ramping out, getting a couple of shots real quick, but apparently they want you to use uh, Streamline 
for AoE, which is decent. Um, steady Shot, I do believe you can use while you're moving. Yes. That's why I had originally thought that it would be decent to, you know, get out a bunch of stuff real quick, like, but Rapid Fire does last for 30% longer there. Now, for raiding, they want you to have Hunter's Mark, and I totally agree with that. That's... Uh, I know that does seem kind of good. Uh, I didn't know if maybe the effect of Steady Focus would out outrun Hunter's Mark, but... You can't argue you gain focus, and it is 5%, so I'm not going to argue that point. That's what they said. That's what I will probably wind up doing. Now, this is where um, fun and games happen. Post-haste, I have no problem using using during raiding. They're saying to use post-haste straight across the board for ever and for always. I don't agree with that. Binding shot is far more useful. Anybody that plays a hunter that's got out... Uh, doing their stuff in the field, knows that Binding Shot is amazing. It's also really good in PvP. So, I'm recommending bi Binding Shot. I don't care about post-haste except for raiding, and Born to be Wild just isn't worth it. Uh, for the next little guy here, for single, they're going with Lethal, lethal Shots. Uh, steady Shot is 25% just cause your next Aim Shot to ra or Rapid Fire to be guaranteed critical strikes. Now, that's why I was also going with Steady Focus. Um... Because getting them out there quicker would trigger lethal shots. Now, apparently, again, I educated myself a little bit, and apparently that's not the case. It's just not able, it's just not keeping up, and streamlined and Hunter's Mark are being used above it. But it's still something I might try for myself to see how it works. That's totally up to you. Barrage, not going to happen. Uh, double Tap. Now... Double tap is what they are recommending for AoE. Your next name shot will fire a second time instantly at 100% power without consuming focus. Or your next rapid fire will shoot 100% additional shots during its channel. Not bad, like it, sounds good. The only thing is it's another cooldown. It's a minute cooldown, but it's something else you have to nurse and babysit. Is it better than lethal shots? I guess time will tell. Apparently, obviously, they're, they're, they're picking it for a reason, so we're going to go there. And last but not least, in every single situation, they are going with lock and load. Piercing Shot is not keeping up. Piercing Shot was struggling even before 8.0 throughout Legions. Um, it was used for a couple of seconds, but then it was dropped quickly. And calling the shots, I don't even understand. Uh, True Shot has already kind of taken a hit. There's already, you know little tricks and trinkets there, so lock and load is straight across the board the thing, the way to go. Um, the choices were not, in my opinion, there were a few that were kind of, I don't really agree with, but we'll wait and see what happens, as it was with the Warlock. But I haven't gone out even on this guy yet, so we're going to wait and see. I'm going to go into PvP, I'm going to probably do more PvP than anything. Um, and his particular uh champions board i'm just going after uh bloods i'm just going to dump my resources on bloods the, the runs are expensive they're like 2400 resources a run whatever um i imagine i'll find a use for uh bloods because little gold making tip if you flasks are still selling well on my server and i suppose they probably will right up until the expansion and plus don't forget when you're going out you don't have the current drinks from bfa so why not take out some of these fun little guys you'll prolong power and the flasks and the food that you have left over from raiding while you're leveling there's nothing wrong with that it's uh anything you can have to get a benefit Especially if you don't want to play with uh, the old PvP on while you're doing your thing here. Uh, where is it? I'm looking like an idiot again. Um, yeah, this stuff. Yeah, war mode. So, um, that's my opinion on this guy. Now, one of the other things that was sort of mentioned um, for Mythics, the... the if you're going to run instances, they definitely, the build that they have is all dependent upon, not the belt that I have for my, um, I can't believe I did this, uh, not the, dependent on the belt that I have for my Beastmaster, but this guy. Um, so, Without the belt, and I'm sure that there are going to be people that aren't going to have it, 
you may want to play with your points a little bit or just keep them as they are and uh, and let them roll out. But uh, each enemy you hit with your multi-shot increases the damage of your next arcane shot by 10%, stacking up to 20 times. Uh, focus on your next arcane shot. It might play with that a little bit. Um, so as long as you have the belt, definitely go ahead and put that in. Or you can play a Serpent Sting, or just go with Murder of Crows. They're still calling for Explosive Shot, even if, even if you do have the belt. Same, same there. Um, I'm not going with Post Haste. I already said that. Double, ta double Tap and Lock and Load. Now, I don't know. It's going to be kind of interesting. It's just going to be playing with numbers and playing with stats and whatnot. But the other thing I would definitely recommend is make sure you have gems and enchants on your stuff. Yeah, it's a little expensive, but that's why you should have alts. Alts are very good. Alts are very key. Alts also make you stuff for free. So, um, with that, I'm going to switch to my Beastmaster Hunter now and go through a little bit on Beastmaster. Okay, and I'm back. This is my Beastmaster Hunter. Now, um, some of the stuff I wanted to go over real quick you can look this up on Icy Veins and verify it for yourself, but there are some things that have changed. There are things now on the global cooldown, such as Bestial Wrath and Aspect of the Wild. That's going to definitely mess with things a little bit and your synergy and your flow. So you definitely want to take that into account when you're pushing buttons like a madman. And I'm, I do not think that those are going to be able to go in macros now because they are on the global cooldown. Uh, so you're going to need to take that into effect. Uh, into account whenever you're uh, doing this stuff. I may be wrong on that, but everything that I have read indicates that you're not going to be able to really put them in macros. You're going to actually have to hotkey them something like this. Focus will regenerate now at a much slower rate, so you're going to have to take that into account when you're doing your thing. And the pet's got a little bit of a helping hand. Um, the different specs now provide different bonuses. For example, Ferocity has pres Predator's Thirst, which give you and your te pet 10% leech. Leech heals you based on the amount of damage dealt. So that's going to help your pet, your tanking pet especially, and you in case you're getting clubbed down like a harp seal because you didn't misdirect, your uh, yield binding shots down and you didn't do stuff, and your pet hasn't taunted or it's dead or whatever. Uh, tenacity has endur endurance training, increases the maximum health of you and your pet by 5%. Cool story. And cunning has pathfinding, increases the movement speed of you and your pet by 8%. Alright, that's awesome. So, obviously when you're out raiding or instancing, you're going to want to do ferocity if you're PvPing or doing any kind of little challenge stuff that they're going to have. You're going to want tenacity. Cunning, I... Um, sure, okay. Uh, it'll help with Master's Call, I guess, but Okay, whatever. So, what I'm going to do now is, uh, we're going to go through this here, and as you can see, on top of a couple of uh, little tricks and trinkets we have, uh, we also got Binding Shot, that we don't have to actually waste a point to pick. Um, we have a bunch of our fun little fun stuff in here, like so. Uh, and there we go. So, that's what that looks like. Alright. Now, I haven't really messed with this. Um, I looked at it real quick last night, just picked the talents that I thought would have been good. So I'm going to go through this like a good old fun time. So for single target, uh, they are erecting, uh, they, they're saying Killer Instinct. Um, for AoE, you're going to want Dire Beast. Um, I think these are two solid picks because no matter what you do, uh, Animal Companion seems like it's a trick. It reads good, but it seems like it's a trick. That's just the feeling I got in my gut. Maybe that will change, maybe it won't. Who knows? We'll have to wait and see. Um, kill Command, 50% increased damage against en enemies below. Yep, that's really good. Uh, for raiding and uh, Wild Beast, the text target, and Roars, increasing your haste. Now, I can see how you might want to get away with that in a raid, but I... I don't know, I still think Killer Instinct is the way to go for raiding. I agree with their picks there. Now, this one kind of took me by surprise because I really wasn't, uh... I really wasn't expecting it. Um, I figured that Barb Shot was going to be a little bit more important. And here's what it is. Fires a shot that tears through your enemy, causing... It puts a bleed effect on him. But then your pet goes batshit and starts chewing at, at, at their ass like a madman. Now, I knew that Scent of Blood... That, again, it kind of felt like it was a trick, and it didn't feel right. 
but they are recommending chim shot across the board. I can honestly tell you, I did not see that coming. Um, I figured that the primary target and another nearby target, uh, that always has kind of sent me off. But I also, in my tired stupor last night, didn't see the thing down on the bottom. Generates 10 focus. So now that kind of makes a little bit more sense. So I'm still tempted for one with the pack, but I guess you'll just have to wait and see, we'll have to wait and see to see how this is all going to roll out. Um, for your next, obviously, natural mending, I went through this with uh, my Marksman Hunter. And this guy, uh, Barb Shot increased your crit strike chance by 3% for 8 seconds, stacking up to 3 times. Now, I kind of thought that that was going to be the way to go. I was like, alright, well, crit seems good, stacks up to 3 times. Nope, Murder of Crows. Uh, that one kind of took me off guard. Uh, for It's for single and for AoE. Um, there really wasn't an explanation given. I guess it's just not that good. Uh, Venomous Bite seemed like it was like it was the obvious non-pick, but Murderer Crows kind of took me by surprise, so I'm just going to go with it, I'm just going to do what I'm told, and that's how it goes. Uh, for the next one, we've already been through this, they're picking Post Haste, I will say Post Haste for rating, I have no problem with that. Uh, Mythics, uh, any kind of instancing, any kind of soloing, I'm going with Binding Shot, and there's nothing you can do about it. Um, this one didn't surprise me at all. Uh, stay, they're recommending Stomp um, across the board, which is understandable. Barrage, it has never... It, that was another one that was like for a second. It, it got a little attention, and then it f quickly fell by the wayside. Stampede, uh, it had its day, but they dumbed it down. They took a lot of its damage away, and it's very situational. If the mobs are pulled out of the Stampede, you can wave at your nice animals while they're charging and yelling and screeching and not doing any damage. That's fine, too. So, for the next one is, we're kind of in kind of a landlock here. They rated both of these really close, Aspect of the Beast and Killer Cobra. But they are recommending Aspect of the Beast across the board. I am not really quite wanting to give up on Killer Cobra. Uh, increases the damage of your pet's abilities by 30%. That's, a bi that's big. Increases the effectiveness of your pet's uh, Predator's Thirst... Endurance training and pathfinding uh, passes by 50%. So, whatever spec you put them in, they're getting a 50% bonus. Now, that passive thing is very key for both of them, but it would appear that while uh, well, Beast of Wrath is active, Cobra Shot resets the cooldown of Kill Command. That's relying on Kill Command, that's relying on whatever spec, plus... It increases the damage of their abilities. So I can understand that. You're kind of getting two for one in there, if that makes sense. Whereas Killer Cobra... Yeah, Kill Command is good, fine, and dandy, but you're still getting kind of, you're still getting a two for one. Um, so, unfortunately, yeah, that's Deanna's choice. And I was when I was doing this last night, I was really stuck on those two. But they are running really close. So... Aspect of the Beast, I think, got the nod because it's just... It, it provides defensive ability if you need it, offensive ability if you need it. It, it, it specifies like, specifically to something. So that's why that guy, in my opinion, won. But that is going to be my spec when I'm going out um, running instances, going out doing my thing, uh, soloing and, and all of that business. Now, the new shot, Barb Shot, I don't exactly know how to, um, I don't know how to take that. Like, it seems really good. You're giving Hunters a bleed effect again. Um, okay. I guess we'll give it a whirl and see what happens. Um, there weren't a lot of, like, real surprises in here. Other than, like I said, the Chim Shot for me, I was kind of surprised that they recommended it. Um, I was a little bit more surprised, honestly, with Marksman, like the stuff that they put in there with, I don't know, some of the abilities, some of the choices in your spellbook. Um, 
I am going to go through, though, I think, and I'm going to take a look at the rotations. I just wanted to get this video out since it is the honest-to-goodness first day that this is out, and I know that there's going to be a lot of people out there that are wondering and, and you know, dancing back and forth. And granted, like I said, I don't have a bunch of fun, uh, fancy and fun graphics, but I wanted to be straight. I wanted to be to the point with you. I didn't want, like, a lot of mumbo-jumbo bullshit that a lot of people put in their videos. I just wanted this straight direct to the point. And again, I combined these like I did my Warlocks because I think that there's Beastmaster Hunters that will try Marksman and vice versa. I don't, and I, I am a staunch hate, hater of survival. I've already expressed this. I'm not going to change my mind if that bends anybody out of shape. Sorry, too bad. Um, I'm just not going to do it. I'm not going to play it. I didn't play it. The only thing I did was I got the weapon for it for both of these hunters, and then that guy is hanging up on the wall, never to be used again with the bugs. So, um, this has been my video. Um, I hope that anybody that sees this, it helps you out. Um, I've tried to be pretty uh, straightforward and give you a little bit of reasoning behind why, if you were thinking about something, why it may or may not be a good idea, or if you just want to try it, try it. Let me know what happens. Um, and like I said in the last video, uh, once BFA, they're going to be, you know, ironing things out. There's probably going to be some changes. It's not the first time we're going to have to be in that talent tree, you know, playing with stuff, putting stuff on the bar, taking it off, all of this business. So this is Heldo for Zombie Land Gaming. If you see something you like, please like and subscribe. Send me a message. Tell me I suck. Tell me I'm good. Tell me you don't like me. Tell me you like me. It's all up to you. Thanks for watching, guys.